So the other day, Andre Jick told a massive lie on his new channel, and he actually directly referenced me. He didn't say my name specifically, but it's clear he's talking about me. Uh, and he actually, you know, is being dishonest about an interaction that we had on YouTube. So I thought I would address it in this video. Now, this video is on his new channel called Don't Sweat It. Uh, he started this channel about a month ago. I was the first one to make a video about his video that he had with Meet Kevin, posted this a few days ago. It was more of a satirical video. I didn't go ac over the actual lie that uh, Andre told in this video. So I thought we'd go over that in this video, and then I'd give my reaction uh, as to why exactly this is a lie and what exactly is going on in the situation. So let's go ahead and take a look at what he said. Because on one hand, you're right, it does help. But on the other hand, at least in today's psychology, yeah. in the, today's market, I feel like it sets a precedent potentially to where it's like, oh, if I make enough videos about Kevin to annoy him, yeah. he might come on my channel. Oh, and that actually, is true. You know yeah. what I mean? I feel like that's the downside. All right, so one thing, we'll get to what uh, Andre says in a second, but one thing to say, I don't make videos to get any of these people on my channel. I don't specifically want to talk to them. However, I will talk to them if they want to, if they want to clear the air or something. But I'm not making videos to get their attention. Like, Meet Kevin has reached out to me. He wanted to appear on my channel, have a live stream. And I turned him down because he copyright striked one of my videos. So, like, he shouldn't have done that. And I told him, you know, take the copyright strike off my video and then you come on my channel. And he didn't do that. So I didn't have them on my channel. I'm not doing this just to get their attention. I'm doing it because these guys are manipulative and they're they're leading a lot of people down a path where they lose money. So specifically, I want to point that out and potentially save people a lot of money. And so my approach has always been, I'm not saying it's the right one. It's just what I'm doing is, is if I ever see anything negative and I don't try to leave, I don't try to find it i don't try to watch the, even if i see a video of, of sure. like my thumbnail just scroll past yeah. i'll just scroll past it Good i won't watch you. it and if i ever do watch it and i'm like oh this this looks intriguing what are they saying now and if i watch it i i won't address it i won't comment it because i feel like the more attention you give it the more it blows up into something like oh they responded to me that means it has some grain of truth to it sure. and if anything at the end of the day i think all of those creators are intentional with everything they do, and I think oh, they're yeah. extremely intelligent with, with their approach. Oh, sure. And I just feel like allowing them that satisfaction of feeding mm -hmm. into it gives them that, that satisfaction, not only mentally, but also an encouraging actual other encouraging other yeah. people to do it. I've never thought about it. All right, so he says if he sees someone making a negative video about him, he will not respond to it. He's not going to have inter any interaction with it, and that is 100% a lie, and I have the actual proof to back that up. So this is a video that I did about two and a half months ago. Andre Jick lost $1.5 million, subscribers' lives ruined. Posted it on July 10th, and you can see that Andre Jick, this is his official channel, it's got the little check mark next to his name. You can see Andre Jick responded to this video I did about him. So what he just said in this video is 100% a lie. Now, this whole comment right here that he posted, this is damage control. Because what I posted about in this video, pretty much everything I said was true. Now, I got a little off on the numbers. I said 1.5 million because I actually had to guesstimate. He actually didn't say exactly how much he lost, so I had to piece it together by watching several of his old videos. And he said, by the way, I only lost 1.2 million. So, you know, that is a minor error, but I was just guesstimating on the information that I was given, and so he corrected that. But everything else in the video is accurate. He got involved in a cryptocurrency exchange called Voyager Digital. And what Voyager Digital was doing was basically if you gave them your cryptocurrency, uh, left it in their accounts, in their wallets that they had on their account, uh, you would get interest on it, basically like a bank account. But you would get very high interest rates, like 10 to 20 percent, which is not sustainable. This is basically just to get a bunch of people to give them a bunch of cryptocurrency. Obviously, they were going to lower the rates over time. But basically, Andre was heavily pumping this out. He, everybody, Voyager Digital, it's the best. I got $1.2 million in there. I love these guys. They're giving me so much interest. And what happened was a bunch of his followers listened to him and got involved in Voyager Digital as well. Now, what ended up happening was Voyager Digital, because cryptocurrency crashed, Voyager Digital basically shut down and they closed all the access to their wallets. So no one was allowed to remove their cryptocurrency off of the platforms. Andre Jick lost $1.2 million. And it's not really a big deal for him because, you know, I'm sure he's made that up in ad revenue on YouTube since then. But all of his subscribers, they're not multimillionaire YouTubers, right? And they have lost tons and tons of money. And he knows this. He knows what I what I shared in this video is true. He knows that he's gotten a ton of heat for this. And so he decided he needed to respond. This is damage control. Uh, and that, that's why he did that. But it's, it's directly contradicting what he said, that he never reacts 
uh, when people make videos about him, never responds, never does anything. He just, you know, completely ignores it. When you can see, this is clearly not the case. Okay, so finally, I wanna show you another clip that he says uh, about reaching out to creators, which I don't think is actually true. So we'll listen to this as well. I right. don't know. I think that comes from real estate. I'm the same. I yeah. reached out to a creator privately okay. and I was like, let's zoom. I'll, I'll explain everything to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I did, I, I zoom called him and I, and I started explaining to him. He wouldn't have it, just would not listen, just was really rude and, and crazy. And I was like, I, I'm giving you transparency. I have no reason to like mislead you or yeah, anything. Yeah. And I could tell from the moment I started talking to him that his goal was not to hear the truth. It was, it was like, I don't to care. To find a conspiracy yeah, or whatever. But, 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 but it was from a perspective of a, a, a very motivated perspective of like, I don't, it's, it's not in my incentive to know the truth mm. because the truth mm. doesn't sell. What sells is he my can't title. He video out of that. Yeah, yeah. my yeah. title and my thumbnail. I don't want to have a conscience on my, you know, yeah. where I know you're a good person. I want to be convinced that you're the devil, that I can make videos about you and make money like that. Okay, so he has never privately reached out to me specifically. He did leave the comment on on my video. And of course, I don't think that he's the devil. I, what I think he's, I think he's being very manipulative on YouTube, uh, but I don't think he's the devil. If, if I have to give my opinion, I think Kevin David, a guy who I made a video about a long time ago, I think he's probably one of the worst people on YouTube. But I just, I wanna call out this bad behavior. Now I allowed his comment to stay up here where he basically gave his complete story as to what was actually happening, right? His, his damage control comment. I could have deleted that and no one would have seen that and be like, oh, this guy's a complete jerk. But anyone who comes to this video, and this video got 22,000 views, so it did quite quite well on my channel. Anyone who sees it, and it got 215 up uh, upvotes, anyone who sees it, and it's pinned as well. So anyone who sees it can see that, you know, his side of the story is told. So I, you know, if anyone, if any one of these creators wants to reach out to me, I am more than willing to hear their side of the story. My contact email for this channel is below in the description, and I'm happy to talk to any of these people. If you wanna talk privately or publicly, I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna be rude. I'm not gonna be mean. I just wanna hear the story. Now, I try and present my information uh, as factually and accurate as possible. I always try and do that in every video. I'm not trying to slander these people just for views. I make videos about them when they do something that I think is inappropriate on YouTube. And so that's why I made this video about Andre Jick. So Andre, you know, you were lying about uh, not commenting on people's videos. Uh, if you would like to address privately with me as to what exactly happened, I would love to hear from you because I have a lot of issues with what, what you were doing, how you're misleading people into losing potentially millions of dollars collectively among all your followers. I think what you're doing is really manipulative. Uh, I think you know that because you actually promoted a cryptocurrency uh, months ago, I, I forget the exact name of it, but you promoted it and it turned out it was a scam. It was like Millionaire Coin or something like that. And then you ended up removing that video. So I think you know a lot of what you're doing isn't appropriate uh, and you just kind of want to brush it under the rug. But if you have a different opinion, you can reach out to me. Um, you know, that's my opinion on this whole situation. He obviously lied about that. I don't reach out to creators who say bad things about me. It's right here, Andre, right here, right on the channel. So I'd love to hear my followers, what you actually think about this. Why did Andre lie about this situation? Uh, leave your comment below.